Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. Um, I wanted to make this video because I've been seeing it a lot in the comments. I do read the comments, but um, I don't necessarily respond to every single one by text. So I thought this video would help clear things up. For those of you that are probably, probably don't own a Mirai, this is probably for you or thinking about it. Um, this is about the mileage, the range, um, what you see on paper versus what you get in reality. Um, from my general experience with um, seeing the EPA estimates for ranges for cars, they're usually pretty close from what they state and then what I see actually in real life. For the Toyota Mirai, this is, I can speak for the Toyota Mirai XLE, so this is like the base trim. There's two trims, XLE and Limited. Um, but the XLE, the EPA estimates that this car gets 402 miles per full uh, full fill up, um, which is like 3.6 kilograms, whatever it is. Full tank is 402 miles. Never in my entire ownership of this car, um, it's been a little over a year now. Um, I don't consider myself a very aggressive driver, and even when I'm quote unquote hyper miling, kind of staying within that 45, 50 mile per hour range, um, and staying in the way right lane, that's key, um, I don't get close to that. The, the closest, the highest I've gotten was 330 miles per tank, uh, for the entire, for the, uh, for a full tank. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to address that. They'll, the Not only in the infrastructure, but I don't know how they're getting these numbers because you would have to, because and I also use the uh, regenerative braking BR uh, pretty frequently. Um, I look ahead and if I see that it's a red light or traffic is coming to a slow, before I even start braking, I hit that BR and use that regenerative braking as much as I can. Um, I'll do a separate video on how I tend to drive, but um, overall, what I'm trying to get at is, at most, I got 330 miles. Generally speaking, I get about 300, give or take, per full tank. And that is 100 miles short of the EPA estimate, estimate for this car. Um, limited, I know you get less. I assume it's because of all the weight of the extra equipment with the... Um, essentially like self-driving type technology. But regardless, if you're trying to buy this car or considering buying this car, just know that you are really getting about 300 or so miles of range. Um, you are not going to get 400. I've seen shots of people getting 400, but I bet you they are the people. Sorry if you are one of those in that group, but you're probably pissing a lot of people off on the road. You're probably, you know, like, big towing it on the throttle like that spongebob episode you're driving super slow you're probably for every mile you're saving you're probably pissing off five drivers that is just a, an assumption but um yeah real in reality you're not getting 400 miles a tank at least not consistently and especially in any um in any significant weather um, i'm in california we don't have significant weather relative to um, the rest of the US or most of the US but if it's hot if it's cold and you need to use the heater or um, the air conditioner you're not getting that for sure because as those of you know who have electric cars or a hydrogen car you are gonna use that air conditioner or um, heater and yeah it's just is gonna eat at your range if you use pretty much any extra stuff, you're turning on the radio, everything that saps power is gonna take away from your range. So even in perfect scenarios, what most of the time, like right now, no ACs on, just the radio standard stuff. Um, yeah, and my eco score as of now is 95. I generally average maybe in the, in the 80s, give or take. But again, I wanted to just make this video and make it abundantly clear to anyone considering buying this car or that has this car, share your experience in the comment section below. What range do you get? What do you expect? And um, yeah, it's you're not getting you're not getting 400. There is no way. Like right now, let me flip this camera around. 
if you can see that. I'm getting 240 miles of range. I'm about a little past, I would say like 80% full. Um, yeah, so there you go. I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any other suggestions or questions, leave them in the comments. I don't necessarily, I don't, I may not respond to them, but I look at them. I'll just make a video, hopefully addressing your concerns. And for those of you, and especially in this climate where, um, fuel prices are continuing to rise, um, you may be looking into a hydrogen car. Just know that range is definitely not 400 and obviously elephant in the room infrastructure, but I can go over that a little from my experience um, a little bit later, but hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.